a few more things to show you and then we're all done with the calculator tutorials unless of course somebody emails me and desperately needs my help with a calculator issue for algebra um, but in the optional notes um, there's really nothing in chapter 9 that you would need the calculator for I mean not much other than the basic stuff you've already learned but in chapter 9 you learn um, excuse me past chapter 9 I have a set of optional notes um, these are notes that um, may or may not show up in your course oops I don't have my website open but they may or may not show up in your course depending on what your instructor covers now um, this is a section from 5.5 .5 that involves the change of base property the change of base property is the way um, you get a calculator to do something like this so for example log base 4 calculators don't have log base 4 calculators have two logarithm buttons they have this one that's LOG which is base 10 and this one which is LN which is base E. E as an Euler's number, 2.718. So how do you get the calculator to do log base 4? Well, it's that simple. Um, what you do is you take the log of, oh, let me show you so you can see this, the log of x. Now I know that's base 10, that's okay. And you divide it by the log of whatever base you wanted. So I wanted base 4, for example. There you go. So that's the log base 4 of x. It's using this property right up here. Ta -da. Okay. So enter. For example, just so you could see it, um, here they want the log base 5 of 31. So let me show you what that looks like. Quit. And you could do it with the LOG button or the LN button. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'll show it to you. LN of 31 divided by, oopsie, except I screwed that up. All right, let's try that again. LN31, close parentheses, thank you, divided by LN5, close parentheses, enter. Let me do it again. Log, whoopsie, log 31, close parentheses, divide log 5. There we go. See? Didn't matter. LN, LOG, doesn't make any difference. It'll still do it correctly. Now back to this question that they wanted us to do from the optional notes, graphing this, right? So they want us to graph that, so you do zoom 6, and there you can see it, right? I typed it in here. Next thing they want us to do is use intersect on a calculator to find when log base 2 of x plus 5 plus the log base 3 of x plus 3 is equal to this. Alright, so let's start with the first one. Log, I'll do L-O-G, L-O-G, x plus 5, close parentheses, divided by log x plus 3, close parentheses, divided by, oh, oop, 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 log 2, sorry, I forgot about that, I'm getting ahead of myself there, 2, delete, delete, okay, then over here. Okay, that's the first one. I'm going to separate it like I did in that other tutorial. So log x plus 3, close parentheses, divided by the log of 3, close parentheses. Now what I really want to do is add these two. So I'm going to make this variables, y variables, function y1 plus variables, y variables, function y2. Okay. And I really don't want these other ones on, so I'm going to go over there with my left arrow and go up, press enter, and turn them off, because I really don't want it to graph them. I only want these two functions graphed together, and then this one, negative 2x plus 8. I'm going to make the window like they've got it, negative 6, enter to 12, and then negative 12 it looks like enter to 12. Oopsie, scale, oops, 1, and then negative 12 to 12. And then we graph. There's the logarithm function coming through. The line will be there in a second. It's a little slow. And then of course to find the intersect you go second, calc, number 5, yes, enter, enter, enter. And there it is. That's how to do that. Alright, I think that's the end of all these videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have any questions, email me.